All right, I'm ready to get started. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm good. Right, three, two, one. I see the green square. That's usually a good sign. Oh yeah. I just have to trust the green square from now on because. Yeah. Yeah. Green square is your is your friend. <laughs> you see him, you're you're happy. You know. At some point, I'll pick up. I will pick up a beer later, but for now, it's just water to start. Um. All right. So good evening. I'm at the Lombacks, and uh, yeah. I'm uh I'm were. <laughs> yeah, with a several second delay, it's not it's not as easy as doing that in a studio. Absolutely not, no. But it's we'll make do. Whoa, hello. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. And uh, cool. welcome to Earth. Yes, that's uh, I think the name we settled on. Yep. Or I, I kind of pitched it as a joke, and then I'm like, okay, fuck it, I'll just just do it. <laughs> Hey, like, um, if you if you can incorporate a Will Smith uh, reference, I think you kind of have to, right? Yeah, exactly. That's funny. <laughs> I think it boosts your box office instantly, like twenty percent. I think I read that somewhere. <laughs> and so, last time we just got started by end, we ended up. Oh, it remembers the last. Or it remembers me pinning uh, one of the suggestions he gave. Ah, uh, nice. Actually, we wanted, we, should we just start with that one? Or yeah, we might as well. Do you, do you no, I'd like to start end? with it. It has a uh, well. Yeah, let's start with it. And there's a spoiler right there in the uh, the title, anyway. So, yeah. Um, if I don't know why it keeps pulling up the last search, what happens That's if I okay. press enter? Whoa, hello. Whoa. <laughs> I love that. I love how you know Earth is maybe a quarter of that screen at best. <laughs> Google Earth, check out space. So this is a bit of a throwback to our first episode. Um, because we're doing throwbacks already. <laughs> but I don't know if you remember... Do you remember the factory, right? Yeah. yeah and so you remember how, how out front of the factory they had a very uh, a very interesting statue of a very large chicken, right? Did you look up other chickens? I looked up other chickens. <laughs> <laughs> but this is combining two things that I know you love, chickens and... Uh, well, I don't know if you love chickens, but I, I, that's the throwback. But I know you love roundabouts, and so I wanted to get that in there too. Thank you. Yes, I do. Uh, yeah. oh. oh, I broke the street view. Oh, no, don't tell me. Okay, there we go. I thought oh, I broke no. the street view pin. Oh, okay. Yeah, right in the middle there, there's a very, very interesting chicken statue that I'm a big fan of. Right, let's just start off with... Wow, I'm a little oh, a little too close. <laughs> let's go the chicken up this in the back and get a better view. <laughs> Not a front view. No, no, no. I think front view is going to be a little uns unsettling for our, our viewers. So I believe this is some sort of, like, truck stop that we're yeah. looking at or something like that. Yeah, you got bathrooms. you got a huge amount of truck parking. This is... Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, you know, it's a cool little chicken. I, uh, I didn't bother to read up too much of uh, why it's there, but I was just... I wanted to find more big chickens that we could look at because I think chickens are funny. <laughs> and um, one is a piece of art in the middle of a roundabout. It's pretty humorous to me because I don't think I've seen art art in the middle of a roundabout. I've seen, you know, like water fixtures and things, but never, I think, a, a full-on statue. I've seen an egg. Oh, yeah? Yeah, uh, hmm. that's one I have. That's one I, I got to show later. Unfortunately, I don't have the link for that one here. Um, that's all right. That's a, a flash forward. <laughs> so I I can't read this. Uh, oh, hold on. No, I can't quite. Oh, there's a, there's enough. Apparently, it's yeah. 32 Largest chicken in the world. Centimeter diameter tubes. Yeah. And this gets. I think it's twenty meters tall. Yeah. No, that looks about that Re looks about twenty meters tall. That's about right. Yeah, that's a big chicken. <laughs> he's he's waking us up in the morning with his his cockadoodle doos. <laughs> there's a joke to be made. I'm sure. I'm sure. The bathrooms, uh, the, the les toilettes over here are pretty interesting too, actually. I liked that. They don't look like your typical uh, weird, dingy, dark truck stop bathroom. It's, uh, what the hell is this? Yeah. See, it's like Devo style. That's interesting. Okay. Why? Yeah, like there's no windows, but that's going to let in a lot of natural light and stuff. I'm curious how it would work, you know, in the rain and whatnot, but still. I... I'm I'm very confused about why this is configured the way it is. Is this supposed to let in light from the top? Is there a window? So I'm not sure. 
I, I think it's supposed to light in light because because there are no windows. So I'm, I'm wondering if it's like a natural lighting during the day thing so they can get away with like lower extra electricity or whatnot. But I'm also kind of just grasping at straws if I'm being truthful. <laughs> but I liked how it looked. It's cool. It looks like a wedding cake, but... Um... Oh, it does, yeah. It, it translucent, or like just the layering of one. So it's the yeah. it's what you put underneath the wedding cake to make it. You just put whipped cream over it, and then you sell it for yeah. nine hundred dollars. Whoa, hello. <laughs> <laughs> so you cut a bunch of uh, rice krispies out in that square, in that shape, and you, know, you throw some fondant and, and whatnot on top, and you're good to go. Uh, what am I looking at here? Uh, oh, intercom emergency. or something? Com. Yeah, emergency intercom. But interestingly, like, it's just there's no. Um, there doesn't appear to be like a, a bunch of restaurants and some sort of like inner area like most truck stops you see here. I don't get out much, unfortunately. Um, you gotta get <laughs> out, man. That's where you see all the cool truck stop shit. I'm familiar with the on route stops. Those are like the big yeah. ones. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm talking about. Like, it's, you know, are there like these giant things? And there's like, a, oh wait, that's probably across the street there. Actually, it looks like. Oh, info. Open 1999, June 11th. Hmm. If only he knew what would the uh, the next century was going to bring. How do I? Perhaps he. Hmm. What happens if I press next? Uh, Let's okay. find out. Oh, just next. Oh, Smurfit Kappa. Yeah, so it's like probably just like a photo stream from this area. I want to see reviews of places too. I don't know if I could even do that. Do I have that option? That would be great. Four to four. It had the biggest chicken I've seen. All right, I'm gonna have. There's some nice. Uh, I like the uh, the landscaping there. Those trees are very well laid out. Okay, I'm gonna visit uh, this in Google Maps. Two point eight. Two point eight stars. Six reviews. Two. Oh boy. I'll just inch this. That's not as. It's not encouraging, man. I hate how it minimizes. Oh my god, this is so bright. <laughs> I miss dark mode already. Um. Did this guy just review a restaurant, but he put it on the chicken statue instead? Oh come on! Well, yeah, because I think I think the, uh, to the west of the, the the chicken statue, there does appear to be like a little convenience store, Tesla supercharger, a yeah. gas station. Yeah. Another electric vehicle. But what are you expecting from like? I, do do you think the chicken is its own tourist thing that you go to and and get fine food from? I don't. That's that's an interesting perspective. <laughs> <clears throat> Long heard of this faithful restaurant. Its reputation does not precede it. We went there <laughs> that day and were pleasantly disappointed, or pheasantly disappointed, maybe. Um, count 45 euros for a chicken thigh and fries ho and rubbery. Holy wow, for two. For, for two okay. plates, that actually sounds like a lot. Holy sh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Exterior view restaurant with a lot of spider web, just the one, on the windows. <laughs> Suggesting a lack of cleanliness deserves a big summertime cleaning. Oh, summer cleaning. Three months ago. Mm. Okay, well, what were they expecting in the middle of, like, a pandemic in, what, November? Come on, man. I gotta figure out a easier those, way Those spiders need cleanliness. places to live, too. What was that? I said those spiders need somewhere to live, too, you know? Like, jeez. <laughs> if I press more info... Don Martin. Ooh. Very nice. So okay, so the restaurant is named after the chicken itself. That's interesting. Uh, Le, I can't get. Uh, I, I gotta switch between Google Earth and Google Maps to get reviews. It's like, ow. Oh. How is that not all integrated? Come on, Google. I don't know. Well, no. they're unionizing, so hopefully, hopefully they'll have time for. No, I don't know. I don't want to make a joke about unions. They're cool. <laughs> yeah, pro good job, union, Google for sure. But like, uh, yeah. This is a pro-union show. <laughs> Turns the water. Yeah, yeah. Their trucks are oh. different, but similar to ours. Oh, there's a guy. What is this being transported, this ball? Uh, that's a good question. That's a good question. It, just, it looks, it looks like, like a giant Christmas ornament. A ball. Oh, it does. <laughs> like, it's on the back of a flatbed, so it's clearly some sort of, like... It's a nuclear know, reactor. Piece of Small one. Oh yeah, <laughs> just one of those. Yeah, <laughs> they just carry them around on the back of trucks in France. It's 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 more efficient. 
Well, the regulations are a little bit more lenient towards oh, good point. power, I guess. Yeah, I think that's... Okay. Well, you know, I'm liking this. It's well laid out. It's nice and it's nice and um, spacious. I want to visit a city, see what's good. We're in France. Yeah, we might yeah as well. let's do a city. Up. I wonder what the next closest city to this uh, this bad boy is. Oh, it's fairly rural, actually. Cool. Oh, please don't make me pronounce French. I know, right? <laughs> Just smack ourselves. So we'll just do the thing we did in the first episode. We'll just put rest, or right in the middle here. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. All right. Oh, it's a cute little street. I like it. Yeah, we have no, we have almost no pedestrianized infrastructure in in, Tor in Toronto. It's fucking garbage. <laughs> it's it's yeah yeah like uh, goes on every time I go to Europe, to, it just Europe. amazes me. Yeah. And then they come back like, oh wow, you know. They're just so nice. And then they come back and they're yeah. all fucking depressed. And it's like, oh, yeah, well, maybe you should fucking make your cities a little nicer there, to, like here. Yeah. Yeah, this looks like it'd be a nice little, like, bustling area on the weekends and at night. This is uh, this is fine fashion for people that ride mopeds, <laughs> as you can tell by the sign. Jolt, I believe it says. Oh, just over the top. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I wonder how many other places are going to be named, like, vaguely English phrases. Hmm. 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 This mannequin looks unimpressed by the whole situation. Is it the? Is this hair plastic on this one? It just looks like a blob. I think so, yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, I think so. I like how the other one has pink hair, at least, you know. She's, she's the more fashion-forward of the two. 2018, okay. So we've gone okay, back okay. in a little bit. Not too far. Yeah. Um... I should have gone to a city oh. where they speak English. Maybe that was a better <laughs> idea. Nah, this is fun. We get to guess or see random <laughs> English. All right. Arrow's pointing this way. What do we got? Uh, looks like some sort of Italian eatery. Oh, sh okay. We're in here. They just oh, stuff oh, their jackets in, in rolls. Huh. I wonder if that's uh, you got weird more efficient the in terms of... Holy shit, Weird Al. How's he doing? Ah. Oh, no, wait. Did I just confuse Weird Al? Actually, Weird Al or Carrot Top? Oh, damn. From this distance, it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, yeah. He's got <laughs> kind of a Carrot Top face with a, with, a, with a Weird Al top, you know? Who is he? It looks like he's kind of, like, he, he looks invested in something, but I don't see anything going on over there. Like, he kind of looks like, what's going on on the wall? Whoa. And yet, up. there's no one there. It's nothing to happen. Maybe he's confused about how they get the jackets into the look at this the it's bags a, as well. It, it's it's like a wall of vests and jackets, the same yeah. way that you'd you'd see in that spray paint shop or in a spray paint. Oh shop. yeah, 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 yeah. That is, I mean, I I kind of respect how cool that looks, but it, it's it sort of reminds me of sausages for some reason. Maybe I'm just hungry, but like, okay. Oh, there's more on this side. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Guy behind the cash. I wonder. Uh, I wonder what their uh, their business plan is in the the, the summer months. Uh, they go out of business. <laughs> ah yes. That's a cute little city. I like it. Pizza Bourge. Okay. <laughs> All right. What do they got? Panini hot dog. American. I wonder what that is. Amer. <laughs> oh, like. Coffee, maybe? Like American? Or, I don't you know? know if that... Well, hold on. Is that... Bought, uh, yeah, it's, that's uh, that would be coffee drinks. Or Boisson Cafe, right? Oh, so Boisson put, drinks. So you put an Ameri Americano or whatever underneath hot dog yeah. and above fries? Yeah, maybe it's just burger. Maybe that's just... Is that what they call... <laughs> is that... Is that no, no I, I... I, You know what? I, I, I have been to France, but I don't think I ever ordered a hamburger there, so... 
Bistro de Edgar or de Edgar de Gar. Oh, that place is kind of they look they look pretty pretty chill. Wait a minute, did they drive their car through this pedestrian? Is this a pedestrian street or what? This there's the Google Street. Oh shoot, yeah, I didn't realize <laughs> that. I guess. Yeah, Special it must be one of those ones that has hours, like you know, before say, um, before say like five o'clock, you can drive out under something. I did. The, I, I found that very confusing while you were there, like because of the cobblestone and everything. Oh yeah, there's a gate right there for closing it. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, some streets that don't look like streets at all just sort of appear in the middle of parkettes and things, and you see some guy going by on like his little moped, and you're like, cool. I get a better view of this ball. It just it's oh. occluded by a tree in every angle. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> interesting intervals there that the uh, the pictures would be taken at and the trees are spaced out by coincidentally. There we go. Hey, there we go. Oh no, that just what? <laughs> Where, what am I looking at here? It's art. Oh, it's like a fountain. Nice. It's just vomiting water from four just, sides. Just, out yeah, of man. square holes. <laughs> 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 H2O. Yeah, I like it actually, though. Oh, right. DVDs and vinyl and merch over there. Nice. Merch underscore metal. Oh, I, hmm. I wonder if is that its own product or is that the name of the place? I wonder. It's a metal like the genre cars or too. metal the metal. Uh, mm -hmm. like like Metallica or like aluminum. <laughs> Someone should name a metal band Aluminum. There probably is one, but... Oh, yes. Puke Green was a very popular car color about three, four years ago, so that makes sense. Some Citroen... Oh, ooh, hello. There we go. It's like a Citron Citron. Oh, it's a Chevy, damn. Like a Volt or something, I don't know. I don't know cars, but I, I pretend to on TV. <laughs> or Twitch.tv. Hmm. Uh, These okay, window shutters. Okay. What do you? Um, yeah, yeah, they're very strange, ugly-looking shutters. That <laughs> are they breaking or is that no? That's just the uh, the picture is morphing. Let's go down a couple blocks and see what's good. But yeah, um, man, let's check it out. Although this building with the round, this building with the red. No, I can't even get close to it. All right, let's smack ourselves in the middle of this intersection. Yeah, intersections are where the action's at, man. Oh, fuck off. All right, all right. Sharing bus <laughs> slash bike lanes. That is fucking annoying. Like you have yeah. a proper protected intersection here, and then it's like, nah, just just go in the fucking bus lane. Tough tits. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, deal deal with it, you know. You guys can share the road. Like look at these curbs. That's actually cool. Yeah, yeah I like that. Cause it looks like it's raised up, right? Like there's or maybe not. Complete with trash. Well one can. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, okay. <laughs> I thought that was some sort of like strange rubber bumper that was holding it up above for I don't know drainage or some shit. Ubiquitous Coke machine, of course. I mean, we found that Tuborg sign in the middle of Nepal. Oh, that was great. I liked that. Good old Tuborg. Brains get everywhere, and uh... that's what they do, man. You know, I was watching or not watching. I was looking at an article recently about um, uh, the oldest woman in the world. She's 118. And uh, the pictures they had of her, she was she was wearing like a Coke T-shirt and a Coke jacket, and she was holding up a bottle of Coke because I guess Coke sponsored her her birthday or some shit. It was it was kind of embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. I like this wall here. That's kind of cool. A little bit of shingling on top. Why? I mean, is that just to prevent people from climbing over? Is there a reason for that? I don't know. Because would it be that effective in helping or like preventing people from climbing over? I'm not a climber personally, so I can't really speak for it. Or do they just have a, a ton of extra shingles? Like, you know, just put them on this fucking wall. <laughs> hey, Gee, what do you want to do with the extra shingles? I don't know. We'll just put them on the fucking wall over there, bud. <laughs> My extent of French is avec à la champignon and uh, <laughs> comme ci, comme ça. Uh, you can get pretty far with comme ci, comme ça. That's as far as I can get. This just looks like a ladder. Oh no, that's just a bunch. That's a cable. That's cables. I saw a ladder, yeah, for a second there too. I was like, okay, so this is a this isn't a walk up; it's a climb up, eh? I wonder how many people live in this thing. It's like a mini apartment building, maybe. Let's get some depth. Yeah. Now that actually looks like it could fit. Like, you could probably house like forty people in this thing. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. 
It's got, I see two separate satellite dishes, so that's uh, a sign of something. Clearly more than one person who can't have more than one satellite dish per person, I believe, is the, the municipal code. <laughs> no, I'm just making that up. Oh, 1664. Got some Cronenberg going. All right, let's hop a couple blocks. Wait. That's... Mm -hmm. Okay, you see a shift in the color of the... Yeah. Oh, yeah, just color from here to here. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Let's I got to check out on. Le Patio. <laughs> Oh, La Patio. <laughs> Fucking inspired name. This is an on. What in the? Okay, that is one hell of an awning or overhang or I. You know, I still have. I still don't know which word is which. Yeah, I'm not sure myself on those ones. I, I think it, fucking... it depends on sort of how it's attached. Looks fucking sick. Yeah, I like that little Juliet balcony. It's very cool. Is that what these are called? Yeah, yeah. Ba Romeo... Balconies are basically you can open it, but you can't really step out on it. It's called a Juliet balcony. Son of a freaking Romeo and Juliet, huh? I know, man. They 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 had some impact, apparently. All I could think of is that stupid movie we had to watch, um, the Romeo and Juliet Modern Times remake from the oh, mid Oh, Sardane's Leonardo DiCaprio one? Piece of trash. Yeah. That was so bad. I mean, <laughs> you, if you watch it looking for something to laugh at, it has it has some, I suppose, redeemable qualities, but it's like an independent piece of art. No, it's not. I don't love it. <laughs> The first 10 seconds, hand me my long sword. And that got imprinted yeah. in my memory. I'm like, yep, I'm not watching this. <laughs> yeah, are the guns are the guns that say, like, dagger on them and everything? Just just to keep it, you know. Just keep it thematic, uh, I guess. Yes. All right, what do we got there? The maisons? Something what? or other. This is, this is one tiny-ass five-way intersection. Oh, f no, four... Four-way, yeah. Uh, or, well... Yeah, no, it's four ways. It just looks weird. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if you want to go to this one in the middle, are you going right or left, or are they calling that straight? Like, what, going, what would the Google Maps directions be? I'm rolling to La Patio. Uh, oh, yes, La Patio. Which we should be coming up on that mighty soon, I think. All Let right. Let me zoom out and check. Did we pass it? Oh, no, I took a wrong, I took a wrong turn. Oh, no, yeah, I just passed, the, I passed the five way? right by it. Oh, I, there's no patio at the patio. Is this a dance club? Are these like uh, these waveforms? Yeah, I think so. Well, it says what Restro Lounge there or something? Andro Lounge? Apero. Apero Lounge. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's uh, I'm gonna say it's like a club. Integrating a club into one of these into one of these older buildings. I mean, does Toronto have? Is Toronto gonna have much of a, a nightlife scene at the end of this? I'm unfortunately wagering no, but we'll see. Yeah, it's it's a it's a cocktail bar that uh, features live DJs. A cocktail bar. Okay. Okay. Yeah. For a second, I thought well, I've never bar. understood that distinction. I don't know why. Oh, chocolate bar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I see a lot of places that just start with la or le. Yeah, yeah. Um, la fromager. Which I think is cheese related. Yeah, it's a cheese. You shop. are correct in that. Yeah. Can we can we go into any of these? Can we buildings? go. I'd, yeah, I'd like to check out the cheese shop if or, or something. Well, we got some uh... interior spots here. These places. I don't know what the oh, hell right. I'm looking at. Well, let's jump in one and see what happens. This one seems to have a lot. Chocolate Jorge. I wonder what Jorge is. Belgian chocolate clothing store. X and O, nothing. I see a lot of for sale signs in this place, actually, interestingly. <laughs> the, blur, the blur cube here is massive. They've got four legs. Oh, man. They're just ripping yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that guy's the Flash. We just, we don't know it. Okay, so it seems like every other clothing store has interior spaces that you can go okay. into. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of surprised by that, but... I suppose it's important for your uh, your online brand for people to be able to see what the inside looks like. 
rack of clothing. All right. We got our, our camera person here, by which means yeah. just a tripod. Um, <laughs> it's just Bello. Just some guy named Bello. <laughs> Good job, Bello. All right. Yeah. Distinctly uh, bland fashion I'm seeing here. Lots yeah. of, hey, mm-hmm. it's a shirt. Just getting sucked up into a vortex right here. Okay. <laughs> Right, the vortex see. of Bello. Yeah, let's see what else he's done. Oh yeah, we did that with um, what Amy's three hundred and sixty or whoever that woman was. Not that uh... I tried to, but I accidentally flashed my home address. Whoops. <laughs> oh right, that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, that's a deep cut. You're not gonna find that on the archived version then. Yeah, no, it's gone. Um, yeah. This user has not written any reviews or chosen not to display them. Well. That's uh, an opinion and a way to go about things. Oh, I love that morph out. So just outside the old city center, you have a hideous frickin' parking lot. Oh, yeah, that's awful. And it, it, it sort of, like, parking attaches to so many other parking. Oh, parking agriculture, parking du marché, parking du chien. Okay, so it's like parking for a bunch of different things. that are divided, I guess. I wonder if there's beef. I wonder if people from like agriculture park <laughs> over there in uh, in uh, De Brato and then and, and getting in turf wars. Well, yeah, people who park in different spots. It's notorious that they always they always choose their parking spaces based on what lot they're in, and they have turf wars about it. Just how it is. Yeah. I don't it's, make the rules. Uh, no, no. It's it's like uh, a tale as old as time, right? Like, have you ever, have you heard about, like, it seems like, what, four or five times a year you hear about people fighting at, like, Yorkdale or York, York Mills? Yeah. or Which one's the mall and which one's the district? I can't remember. Or, uh, Yorkdale is a mall. Yeah, or the Square One so I guess parking York... lot. Like, the guy who got his nose Square broken. One's another one, yeah. Oh, I didn't hear about that. Yeah, fighting over a parking space. Um, P- <laughs> Piz <laughs> addict. <laughs> Piz addict. <laughs> I don't know if oh. that's the most fortunate name. No, I think they might have missed a missed a an issue there. Oh, look at that sign. That's, oh, man. Just, that's magazine cutout material. That is that is perfect. Piz addict. They make pizza and salads. What is it, eight dollars for a pizza? Or eight euro. Unique Are price they saying of they have eight a hundred... euros uh, yeah. for takeout, I think. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. And then, what is this 100? 100, oh, like, did, are they not trying to tell me they have a hundred different flavors of pizza, are they? <laughs> That'd be fucking wild. Um, right. But what's the, what's like the actual line between a different flavor of pizza and just, oh, you know, I sprinkled some freaking, like, pepper flakes on it and is that a different flavor well yeah exactly right like i don't i, I would i wouldn't interpret it as such uh, like you know it... you look at um like uh what what's the difference between a canadian and a deluxe what one topping that that's that's kind of a strange opinion so uh 33 centimeter pizzas that's interesting too yeah but looking at that i don't know how that hold on what is it what is a large pizza? I mean, I've heard that European pizzas are just generally bigger. I don't know if that's actually true. Like, um, uh, hmm. like somebody who came over from the Netherlands, uh, hanging out at a friend of mine's place, he's like, "Oh, we don't yeah. we, we, like." He basically just told us that we don't fuck about with like medium or large pizzas. We just have a big, massive pizza. I'm like, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. There's usually one size. It's not like the various sizes, mm-hmm. but I, I wouldn't centimeters. say they're like fuck off big or anything. Like, especially Dutch pizza. From the two, ex- so I, I think I've told you this. Like when I travel, like it's I, I make a point. Like I have to eat pizza like in every every city I go to, um, oh, yeah. to get like I don't know a comparative pizza vibe. <laughs> and you know they they make good pizza, but it's not uh, like outlandishly large or anything over in the Netherlands. Good cheeses, obviously, because they're they're cheese champs. <laughs> Red and orange, quaff mixed. Mm, just a hair salon. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. What's this last place? Is it like a like a convenience kind of vibe? Hold well, on, there's a yeah, it's a, sign it's a patisserie. 
Oh, and a boulanger. Okay, yeah. So they they bake stuff. What is a boulanger? For someone who doesn't know, how to say <sighs> I'm, that I'm gonna is. get this wrong again. I believe so. So boulanger is is baking. I think of of breads. I think and uh, patissier is is baking of of the rest of things. So like patisseries, right? Um, but I might have that wrong. They both bake, though. I know that. See, but I I don't get in at least in Canada. Is how come we don't do the the spiked get the fuck out of this lane thing for bus stops more often? Um, I think because we're assholes. <laughs> this one just says "fuck off cars," basically with big yeah, spikes. Out. I like I, I find um, especially in Toronto. Like I find maybe if you go east into Quebec, it's a little different. But like we have so little signage on our roads. Even it's just like yeah, there's like the lane markations, and that's about it. <laughs> Stop here, maybe if you want to, but you don't have to, I guess. Mm. Oh God, what is happening to Google Earth right now? And why are there That's so many photospheres some... in a parking lot? What could there possibly be to see out here? Yeah, what what is this place? Oh, okay, no, that's not a parking lot. Hello. No. So it's a store opening. Is this like? What just oh, is in a store? mall? Yeah. Or is it like French Ikea? Um, we are in whatever a Darty Plus is, which I, I okay. guess is, I think an electronic store is what we're looking at. Yeah, let this me, looks like me, an electronic me, store. Yeah, okay. Like appliances, electronics. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whole, you can go in a lot of directions from here. I'll just pick one of these. So Alexander Ooh. Boisson just went through like every freaking aisle, I guess, to give <laughs> us a peek at hand blenders. Yeah, yeah. We got some really nice immersion looking blenders up there, <laughs> and then I'm liking it. Uh, what the hell is that? I I can't tell what's going on on the left here. Oh, that's a scale maybe? Yeah, no, that's scales. Okay. Yeah. Uh, juicers. Juicers, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go back. Let's uh, check out another section. And you got little, okay, you got like little <laughs> showroom sets. Yeah, that's that's what made me think it was like IKEA esque, right? Because it looks like you've got like full on staged rooms. Don't go through that door. Hey, don't yeah, don't fucking block that. What is this supposed to be? Oh, you know, just a giant acorn. <laughs> is this a, is this supposed to simulate some sort of a a fruit or melon, or I think yeah, so, just, yeah. just an acorn. It, it could also just be weird um, impressionistic art, you know, like giving you the impression of a piece of food. Also, why are there just random upside down plates there on the counter? <laughs> that's 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 done dishes, you know, according to many people's roommates, I guess. I'm just giving you a similar or a simulative experience. Okay, okay and the then you got a separate kitchen across the way. <laughs> All right, we got some more. Let's. Uh... The time accurate? I have no idea. Ooh. Yeah, this is basically appliances, electronics, and IKEA showroom style thing. Holy, sh <laughs> that's a lot of freaking knobs. Oh shoot! Yeah, what is it like eight burners? Maybe more. Oh, it's one of the okay. That's a that's a really cool oven. That's like a that's like a quad oven too, or maybe a triple. So you have two two small ovens on the left, and then a, a larger oven on the right. And I think below that's probably just where your pots and pans go. But for that, you could have uh, three separate temperatures going, so you could cook, like, bake different things at different temperatures. Very important for your bread and your uh, other patisserie. Well, a country that revolves around pain so much, I guess. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, let's go. They didn't blow this person's face for the toothbrush ad. Ah, uh, Sonicare. What is with? I have a Philips TV. I don't know. I don't have. I don't have any other products with them, but I have a TV, and it's okay. I don't understand like these little TVs that just run looping footage of this kind of stuff. Like, oh wow, you know. Yeah, it... I've never understood that either. Like somewhere, someone decided that like a thirty-second product demo on a loop all day is a good idea for people, but I don't know. What the hell? I'd rather just pick the product, pick it up, and you know, play with it. Babylus digital sensor. Ba What's... Glad it's digital. Oh. So I thought initially that was like a like a fan, and then I thought it was an air dryer. 
like a hair dryer rather. And then I thought a megaphone, and now I don't know what it is. It's in the hair dryer section, but I've never seen a big satellite dish attachment on the end of them. Yeah. Well, and like what what kind of digital sensor are you requiring in a in a hair dryer? Do I just not know enough about hair as well because I don't have a lot of it? <laughs> hey, I have a lot of it and I don't know anything about it myself, so I'm I'm kind of confused. <laughs> Just to clarify, uh, I'm I'm balding. I'm, I'm not a twink. That's what. I'm... <laughs> uh, love the unfinished ceiling look. It, it provides. That's how you can tell that they're passing the savings on to you. <laughs> so. But which way is the exit? I don't know. Stare straight up. <laughs> yeah, it's. I didn't expect it to be facing straight down, but um, no. I heard they're actually trying to standardize the green exit signs worldwide, which is why we're starting yeah. to see them more in Canada now. Yeah, the idea is like red evokes pa uh, like 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 panic or whatever, or green is like you're exiting not always in an emergency. I don't know. I'm in favor of it. No, they look good. They look good. Uh, yeah. Oh, headphones. Oh, and okay, we're iPhones. iPhone 10 advertisement time. So this would have been, what, oh, geez. two years ago? Yeah, that would, yeah, like 20, 2017, 2018? No, not, not 2018, not even 2017, yeah. Segways for, is that a lot for a segue? I don't know. It feels like a lot. This, just, this is just one of those um, hoverboards with a handle. Yeah, on. yeah, I don't think it's like a branded segue or anything. Oh, well, those things um, are, those things are pretty cool. I mean, I used to have uh, an old boss uh, whenever he actually showed up to work because he was only there like 30 days a year. Company oh, owner. Wow. He would roll around the factory. Actually, no. All the office staff had their own segways because they're like, "Oh, no. Uh, they're complaining, "Oh, we're walking like 5 kilometers a day." It's like, "Boo fucking who? So do we." <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. You get this you, you get to have your own freaking office at the end of it. We're out here in hailing exactly. metallic dust. Oh, yum. Yeah, I, I quit Gotta that love place. metallic dust. There you that's, go. that's good. You're just choking up. It's just like coughing up like black dust. It's like, oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, the black dust is when you know you got to get out of a place. <laughs> just a wall. OSHA generally doesn't agree with that. <laughs> all right, are we... Uh... You know what be really annoying to do is, is to set all of those microwaves within like... A cascading one second of another, so you get like <laughs> microwaves going off for like thirty seconds, multiple ones just ending. What is this brick at the end here? Oh, look at that bad boy! It's, you uh, can do some damage with that. Speaking of all the monolith craze, it's the uh, it's the one from two thousand one yeah. Space Odyssey, just as a microwave. <laughs> just a big black metal. There you go. Box. For, the, for the Kubrick enthusiasts among us who like to microwave. And did this guy put a tripod on top of the stove? Uh, yes, yeah. Did. Yeah. So does that mean he's an employee or is he just a very dedicated well, uh, <laughs> Google earther? A dedicated shopper. He just goes into stores without their permission, just puts shit, just puts his <laughs> tripod down anywhere. Yeah. Doesn't ask permission. Just, oh, hello. Um, and we end up with, with, uh, with that. Maybe he really hates like looking around stores, and so this is just for his own personal reference. Next time he has to go in, he'll be like, you know, oh, wow, where where are the the T-Fal, uh cooking surfaces? Oh, right, oh, oh uh, seventy. Here we go. <laughs> okay, hey, got some good stuff over there. Let me know if I if I move too fast. I feel that sometimes I do. No, you're good. You're good. Okay. At least I don't have a problem with it. Ah, uh, yes, skewers. You gotta have some skewers. I thought that said cocky at first. Like, that's not what that says. What does it say? Cookie? Because I kind of see cocky, too, but... Uh, I'll just move on. Like, like cookie with a Y? <laughs> All right. I'm ready to hop out of the store. All righty. See you later, uh, what, Darby Plus or whatever? Oh, that place is massive weird that it doesn't actually like cultura it doesn't this is a bookstore oh okay so, so it's like a hmm so where where, so did, like, where the hell did we just go 
discount store? Uh, we went to Darty, which looks oh. like it's up at like oh, it's in the middle even. Yeah. Okay. Somebody put the pins in the wrong spot, or they've yeah, yeah. shifted the map over because this looks a little that looks a little off. It does. Yeah. Let's get to colorful place. some Euro Truck Simulator 2 vibes going. I'm going to go to a truck dealership. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, now you know what? You should try to uh, visit that the, the giant chicken in your, your, Euro, rock, uh, your Euro Truck Journeys. Hey, without a face cam, you can't see me nodding. Fuck. Uh, I still got to get that. <laughs> <laughs> all good, all good. Okay, this is just a giant parking lot. Maybe not as exciting as I thought. No, I expected at least like some displays or something. More roundabouts, though. Okay, which way is True North? Okay, we got flipped upside down. Oh, that makes sense. I kept calling Up North, but that probably wasn't uh, always accurate. Hey. Yeah, they what is that? want to be shown here. This is probably some very rich community, because they do this, where uh, you can, uh, if you email them or something, I don't know how that works, but you can have your house just blurred. So I went through, the, I was hmm. exploring Google Maps through this rich area in uh, some someplace in New York, uh, outside New York City, and you just see it on this entire block, it just blurred squares. No way. I, really I think there might be do, a prison. I got to do a better habit of saving that. Um, Penitentiary. Yeah, so this is... okay. Yeah, so that, thought, that's what I'm kind of guessing. Yeah, it, okay. They don't want to, They don't want people having images to... Uh, do these people live beside a prison? Maybe, eh? Well, how close can we get? Obviously, like, yeah. okay, so you're not going to get through the gates. No, but maybe we can kind of... Sneak a take peek. Take a look to the right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, huh. You take a dirt road into there. Of course, of course, very <laughs> penitentiary stuff. Well, what do we have out just outside of it? These homes look kind of on the older side. This is where the the shingles from that uh, that uh, that wall came from. Yeah, when uh, when all these houses like when houses like this come down, they just move the shingles over there. That's called recycling or reusing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very good. Very good. That's one of the more important towers, right? This is a jank. Is that like a composting bin? Try. You got one no, depressed like hole and one ascending hole. Yeah. <laughs> Take a bottle, leave a bottle. <laughs> right, let's try and get closer, because I am kind of curious about what this big bin in the middle of the edge of town is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's actually. Recycling. You actually do put bottles in it, like as in that's yeah. Those those just yeah, just put your wine and beer bottles in here. I mean, I can't read that, but I think that's what this is for. Yeah, uh, it says something glass, like the the Vert is glass. I can't remember what the rest of it. Or Vert, not Vert. And what the hell is this thing beside it? <laughs> Maybe like a. Don't tell me like that's a, what fire uh, hydrants look like over there. Like new oh, I don't think hydrant. it's a fire. If, if if that's a fire hydrant, that's cool as fuck. I think it it's is. just like a uh, for a like, bollard or whatever. Yeah. As like like just, I'm just like don't tell me that's what they look like. Because if that is that that's like, I'd be I might be a little jealous because that it looks cool. That's it blends cool. in. Actually, it yeah. doesn't blend in at all. <laughs> what am I talking about? No, but it, <laughs> if it was green, it would blend in. You know. You know what I gotta do? I gotta remember the name of this town so I can actually. Put it in the title of the show. Oh yeah, or in the episode. So it's a. Hey, uh, I don't know what that means here. I really don't. I I, th I think it has something to do with like what country you're from. Mm, that would usually just be on your plates. Oh well. No, no, they give stickers throughout Europe, right? Because um. But aren't those like three letter or two or three letter codes? I think I think you're right though. I think they're usually two two letters though. Hey. Maybe maybe it means they're really wait it's a scarlet a so that person is an adulterer <clears throat> what what <laughs> <laughs> i don't know because this roundabout they're not even trying with it <laughs> no that's that's the implication of a roundabout that's not even a please follow the rules please <laughs> <laughs> 
If you drive over the brown, you've done bad. <laughs> uh, can you write down the name of this town? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just because I've uh, got like four tabs open, I don't want to mess yeah, up. Yeah, no problem. Uh, let me just uh, screen cap it quick, because that'll make it easier for me. Oh, yeah, it's even faster. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Boom. All right. Trains. Train station. Ooh, trains. And what is this collection of rooftops? Hmm. I'll check out the train station in a sec, but this... Yeah, this is this is interesting. Looks kind of industrial, sort of, but which would track with the trains, I guess. It's a lot of stuff in that backpack there, bud. Look at this walking stance. He is... Uh... <laughs> I don't know what it is about this walking stance that just puts me off a little bit. Also, he's got a Batman yeah. shirt. Oh. Well, you know he's a good guy then, because only, <laughs> only good guys wear Batman shirts. Oh, we got more of those uh, those glass recycling guys over there, too. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty yeah. cool, the giant boxes for glass recycling. Yeah. Again, this is, when, you look, when you look at these things in other countries, it really... Makes you wonder how the hell we messed up so bad with uh, certain services and uh, things in game. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little disappointing. I mean, like, for a portion of time in Toronto, we had garbage cans. Not garbage cans, but whole garbage uh, disposal units that were uh, funded by now. Um, and that's why they uh, don't work super well. The ones in question being the, uh, the ones that have the little, like, step-down lever to open the door. Funded by and now, have... as in the newspaper? Yeah, the newspaper. So they they initially teamed with the city, and they they spent some money on like making those cool looking like clamshell looking ones with the button that you the the like lever that you press down to open the door so you don't have to touch it. Uh, and the idea was like now paid for them so that the city would be okay with them using them for advertising down the road. But then I can't remember entirely why, but the deal fell through, and that's why you'll notice that those ones aren't maintained. So like the um, the little rubber strip that pulls the door open will either be broken or just like super stretched so it doesn't actually open. And they're not actually technically city of Toronto garbage things. They're 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 by the company that owns now and they were put there for that purpose. So the city will go through and they'll empty them, but they don't actually repair them or maintain them. And they're slowly being replaced by the uh, the weird Dalek looking ones that are just black and have the like bumpy <laughs> sides. But Okay, with I time never, I never knew that now even had that much power per se. I never even no, neither did I. Yeah. Paper. Yeah, I, well, I think, it, I, you know what, I might even be wrong with the specific company, but I think it was now. Hmm. Somebody like that. It definitely wasn't BlogTO. <laughs> uh, click, most... Oh, is it like a community garden over there? Uh, let's get away from some trees and move over here. Yes, I I think it belongs to this whole building section. Oh, cool. I like those. I don't know what these are. No, no, those are strange. They look close? like very small outhouses. Uh, that's the opposite of getting closer to that. Maybe they're just sheds. <laughs> oh, yeah. maybe, yeah. Maybe they're like lockers for the people that live there or something for their uh, their gardening materials or something. So what's the cans on the fence? Do you know anything about that? I have no idea about that. Hmm. Do they all have it, or is it just that one? Maybe people are, like, marking theirs, and, like, this is mine. I got the cans on my fence. <laughs> I think it's just theirs. Yeah. Cause I That's know, probably, uh, like, a strange attempt at decorating. I know that uh, using, like, plastic shopping bags scares away some birds when they blow in the wind. It's just the, mo oh. the movement of the of it, I think, maybe just scares them to think it's some sort of predatorial or predatory bird. Mm. I could see if it's some sort of pest control thing then, yeah, maybe because they're they're really rusty. Maybe there's a type of bug that doesn't like oxidized metal or something. Termites. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what this building is alongside the train tracks. Yeah. Uh, probably just yeah. uh just wanted to see it from the other side. Uh, it looks like some sort of maintenance shed and uh Yeah. Just racks of metal parts outside. Which I would think should be inside. But whatever, if it gets yeah. rained on, maybe they're water. Uh, who cares? <laughs> this one's got a freaking roof. Why don't these have roofs? Hmm. Well, clearly the stuff on on top of uh, the ones that are unroofed aren't as important. Yeah, who gives a shit, right? 
Yeah, that that that's that's shit. We don't care about that. <laughs> there we are. Anybody us. in there? Oh, hello. <laughs> All right, let's get a little closer to the train station. I want to see what's good. Yeah. And again, we've. I can't. I really. They really have to lock it to north. It's irritating. Yeah. Spinning that around. Okay, I should turn that off until we're ready to go somewhere because it just flashes blue and that's also frustrating. Um, we got a bridge, or is this a tunnel? Let's see. Did they do street view? Oh, this is a tunnel. Oh. Okay, that looks like a train station tunnel. Yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah. These, this color scheme looks bizarre, but it's a train station tunnel. It, it kind of... If it weren't for the fact that it was even, I would think that they were just like randomly replacing panels with different colored ones. But uh, yeah, which makes me wonder if when they were when they were making Toronto's uh, subway stations, did they just have like an overabundance of teal and brown paneling? Oh my god, I guess so. <laughs> Every single station. Wait. Yeah, it, 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 other than like the really money ones that got built way later. Pigeon spikes in the back of the TV. Or classic minor. yeah good old janitor he's doing his job doing uh, his thing yeah no complaints there also no good job man please unionize uh we're yeah, talking yeah, exactly. about, yeah we're in france here so you know um like if the janitors don't like get together and try to burn down their manager's house in, in order yeah. to get a better wage then uh we're not really in france <laughs> no no precisely all right, X Men, oh, X -Men Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Okay, I don't think I saw that one. I really, I really haven't seen most of them. I no? remember seeing the second one at the IMAX, at the Cinesphere. That was so, that was cool. Okay, okay, yeah, I, I didn't, I wasn't like a, a big X Men watcher. Yeah, I wasn't quite. Wow, holy shit, these photospheres are very tightly packed together. We're not moving very far. No. No, it's funny watching the trains off to the side not move oh. at all. You can watch the progression of, uh, of our custodian fellow here. Cards oh, out. Good job, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, door's open. Oh, here he comes. He's yeah. out. Yeah. And he's gone. Ah. <laughs> and. Oh, is that him? There? No, that's someone else inside. Oh, let's go inside. Yeah, why not? Eh? <laughs> Oh man, that's another that's another good blur. What in the world happens to some of these? I always like that's bizarre. Yeah, that's so strange. It's a nice little train station though. They got some, you know, food and drink options. Those are books, I guess. Yeah, a little bookstore. Or maybe just like a traveling store, if you will. A bookstore books in a that. train station yeah. is a, a weird concept to me. Yeah, it's all unlike like the bookstores in in, in uh, oh, man, like plane terminals, airport terminals, right? Like they they figure they have like a captive audience they can sell something to for a period of time. Well, yeah. Also, oh, well, I forgot I have to turn that off. Um, you, well, trains are also just more common in Europe, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I, just, I wish we had anything like that infrastructure here. I love trains, though, so I'm a little biased. But <laughs> I don't know what this is, but we're going in. It's uh, it looks like a school, I think. They call a, a beauty school, maybe. Well, this no, guy's got confused. a whole business name set up here. Anyways, yeah, uh, yeah. Emmanuel. Oof. Oh yeah, no, this is this is a. Uh, yeah, his own photography thing. That's funny. Good job, Emmanuel. Okay, so we're Gentleman in with a nice beard. beauty school. Yeah. Uh, they, it has a proper name, but I don't remember what those are called. <laughs> well, this guy didn't even time it. He's in the photos. Oh, man. Come on, buddy. Okay, this is worthy of, like, people standing. Have you seen the people standing uh, Twitter and Instagram feeds? or Facebook Oh, feeds? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is worthy, absolutely. His leg is pointing... In, like, both his legs are pointing inward, but his... Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, what the fuck is this? It's a fire extinguisher, maybe? Yeah. One weird-looking fire extinguisher. 
isn't it though? I think that's what that is. So, yeah, 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 yeah there's is. a sticker above it. I'm going to assume that it is uh, more efficient and environmentally responsible than those that we find here. Um, I don't know. Like, what do we do nah, with the metal ones when they're discharged? Uh, I th I don't know. It's, I, can you? I think you can recharge them. Yeah. But I don't know what the overall like lifespan on them is. French girl hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's great. I love seeing English using ads in like non English speaking countries. It's just they're just they're, they're such fun usages. I mean, that's just like <laughs> its own thing. All right, this is all mirrors. That's uh, oh, okay. <laughs> it's a good color. I mean, I had a color like that in high school. Yeah, I like it. It's got a good uh, like a good saturation to it. It's nice and dark. Something about this. Is it just is it just the color temperature of the light bulbs in this building? It looks a little maybe it's just I don't know, it's yellow. Oh whatever. It's very yellow, yeah. Oh, people. Oh it yeah. is yeah, okay, we can see an actual classroom. Sick. You interrupted a class to do it at home. <laughs> oh, and they're all wearing like branded shirts for the school too. Uh it's probably a staged photo. Maybe, but also Projector. Oh, overhead projector. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Incredible. I do miss those. those are... Oh, me too. I never really got to use them. I mean, we looked at presentations on them, but that's not what I mean. Uh, we never really got to uh, draw on them ourselves. Yeah, same. Do these both go the same way? I'm trying to go up the stairs. Or did... Oh. Oh, hello. Okay. Virtual360.fr. So Emmanuel... Oh, is that, is that uh, Emmanuel's company, maybe? I guess Oh, we so. are up the stairs. Cool. Okay, so have we... Oh, you just go upstairs into this little things? section of... Just this little corridor with four four doors. Yeah. Turquoise. Four. Rubis. Uh, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> what are the other ones? Yeah, uh, Cleo Pater. Yeah, and, Cleo. I... and then... Okay, these are people's names? Are these supposed to be people's names? Well, maybe, because eh? it's, it's, turquoise is just a color. And I'm wondering if Rubis is just like Ruby. It's a color, but I guess it could be a person's name, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Tons of people have color names, I guess, right? And I guess some nice lighting out here now. One photo outside. Let's see what hey. the hell we even are. That looks that looks good. I mean, all the buildings here look like that, which is just, just the style. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a nice looking building, though. I like it. Right next to the kebab house. Oh, damn. That's some good-looking kebab there. Yeah, actually, I'm getting a little hungry. Inter let's, in let's get out of here. It's interesting it's not a kebab maison. Y yes, that's... Hmm. Hmm. Or, like, shake kebab. Parking garage. Oh, that's a good idea. They didn't have many of those in other parts of the city. So what happens if I press this? Okay, so these are neighborhoods. Okay, okay. Neighborhood names, and this is... Okay, and that's the whole town name. Is a yeah. commune in eastern France. What does that mean here? I don't know. That's a good question. Like, it can't mean that it's a commune commune. It must be just like a... <laughs> oh, wait, no, this is the truck dealership. You could just test drive trucks on a little track? Or is this oh, a cool. factory? Okay, so uh, French communes are analogous to civil townships and incorporated municipalities in Canada and the U.S. Yeah, so that just sounds like that sounds like Toronto with the six district or the six amalgamated. Yeah. Okay. I don't know where to look. Um, let's see what the borders mm. are. And I'll yeah. Do, I'll do another. I'll do another random spot pick for here. Yeah, I like it. Also, I want to do New York at some point. New York is a big one. Yeah. I said here and that we just end up in a very scenic S-curve road. Oh, that looks like it'd be nice to ride a bike down, you know? I do miss. I do want to take my bike out other places than work. <laughs> the, the rough streets at Toronto? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I didn't land us just... anywhere interesting. I just chose a section outside of town. 
Oh, that's what you're... Okay. It's a nice little lake there, at least, though. Also, I appreciate that at least it remembers the last thing I pressed, so it still keeps his border up, even when I go into Street Oh, that's cool, yeah. Like, thank you, I they like did that. something. Um... Oh, McDonald's, gotta check that out. I'm not a big McDonald's guy personally, but it's here. No. I, I enjoy looking at the different McDonald's of the world. And I don't eat there myself either, but... Okay, I thought they were waving at us. <laughs> oh, hey, he should wear a helmet, man. Come on, guy. Yeah, it's a pretty boring, normal-looking McDonald's. What's that say? <laughs> Medrano. I wonder what that is. You get table service at this one. What? Do they also That's serve strange. beer here is the question. Oh, I'm sure they do, yeah. <laughs> in, do you know the... Okay, so there's a, there is a Starbucks in Toronto. Actually, there's two that serve beer as their really? pilot project. Yeah, there's uh, one at Dundas and Quebec Avenue. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know what the other one is. I remember I, I technically am not allowed to deliver beer, so I, I couldn't. I was like, oh, I can't accept that. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, but... Yeah. <laughs> Ronald Lane. Oh my goodness, the design. Oh, is, that, is that the play place? Weird. Also, the fact that's that it's not a Ronald I've seen. <laughs> Tell me there's a playground in there. There has to be. We talked about this last Oh, yeah, time. that's got to be what that is. I guess they still have more over there. Um, yeah, do we have those anymore here? I don't know. Probably. Oh, little characters that I'm not used to, too. Wow. What is this supposed to be? Um, is this, is something shield, getting shot out of a cannon, but what? It's a shield chin that's confusing me. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. Since we also have the Happy Meal box, is this supposed to be like the fry cup with a helmet on? Oh, yeah, probably. Probably. Okay. We solved it. It's done. We've analyzed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Championship brand readers right there. Oh, and we're back here at uh, Darty Plus. Oh, damn. Just across the street. Okay. How big is this town, anyways? Uh, more info. Population forty thousand. Okay, so it's hmm. it's one's it's a small commune. We have yeah, not yeah. been to the north side. Let's see. It was probably pillaged by the Goths in the late antiquity era, and um, was raised to the rank of Freetown in twelve fifty, according to our friends at Wikipedia. Yeah, when pe I love it when people say buildings of historical value in Brampton is like, what, so like <laughs> the 1980s or something? Uh, yeah. Also, it's been there for over 25 years. Very good. Very good. Cemetery. All right. Random spot. North Kick End. It. Hope, well, this time it's not going to be a country road leading out of town. This time <laughs> it's an industrial warehouse with the doors half open. <laughs> mm. Must have been a hot day. Yeah, this looks like like storage and industrial era. Area. I wonder if can I use the keyboard keys to move? Oh I can. Oh thank you. Hey. Boom. Auto school. Can we follow <laughs> them? Or hold on, we're coming this way, so we cannot. No. Although Mm, no, they're turning. Okay, no, they're going completely the opposite direction. Not gonna happen. Do do do. I thought that was a kid waiting at the bus stop. That's a garbage can. Oh shit! I, I can see that actually. <laughs> ah. I like that. That that is just like a very nondescript bench there. It's not like you know some giant plastic monstrosity or something. Yeah, it's not the worst bus stop I've ever seen, but it is among some of the loneliest because it's just. It's just yeah. on the sidewalk where no one ever walks, but like very few people would be walking. Yeah, what? it's probably just um, servicing like those those a uh, couple of spots back there, and maybe this this business here. Is this like a gated community here? No, I think this is um, based on the fence post I saw earlier just a second ago. Is this some sort of uh, equestrian school or training mm. center? I could see that actually. Yeah, because there's a good amount of uh, land there. But I don't. I don't know what this means. More info. Yeah, there that's a guy's is. name, and then 
Only a phone number and an address. It's like, oh, thanks. We should call him and ask him what he does there. <laughs> hey, Frank. <laughs> yes, I, Frank. I think you're right, though. <laughs> yeah, it's Frank. Uh, we're, we, we found your plans on the internet, and we're curious what you do. There's two of them. Yeah. I think. Maybe. Yeah. That's probably what that is. I, th I think you're right. <laughs> Comparing them to the size of cars, they're not, you know, that much smaller. <laughs> Best kebab takeout. There are so very many kebab nice. places in this town. This is like the eighth one. It's, it's very popular. Yeah. It's like half of France just kebab places. Kebab. Pretty much, pretty much. And then you got your uh, your your uh, patisseries and your boulangeries and uh, <laughs> and darties. No bikes on the sidewalk. They have a little. Oh no! Wait, this is the end of the bike lane where it just kind of merges into the. Industry. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> You're on your own. The kebab places. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Yeah, where'd it go? I just saw yeah. something. It... Look at this. Oh, damn. That's, uh. Um... That's vintage. You don't see much. Well, you don't see much of that anywhere, really. <laughs> no, no. I like that. I like the color there. It's like a peachy salmon. And it's got some very cool retro vibes. But yeah, where did that kebab place go? It just disappeared. Maybe it's just like tucked into one of these little buildings. Maybe it's like uh, in that parking lot there or something. Uh, or this predates it. Oh, could be, could be. Yeah. Let's go a little further. Oh no, wait. It's it's in here. It's in the gas. It's in the gas station. Hold on. Car no, wash. This is, a, this is a car wash, bike shop, kebab place combination. Oh wow. Um. Why? <laughs> why? Cycle and go ah. I don't know. This is that's interesting. I mean, whoever you could sell your your building spaces to, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's just kind of like rental, and whoever pops in there pops in there. Running a kebab shop out of what looks to be like a freaking warehouse. Well, no, actually, oh, the Jesus, warehouse building behind it, it, but still. Yeah. Fake grass. That's on some one very of the nice siding. There. <laughs> oh boy. Something about that actually makes me think it's pretty good kebab, though. Like, because if you're making it in there and, like, you still have people coming. Yeah, that's, there's... That's a good implication. Yeah, there is a thing about, like, every once in a while you find a restaurant in an industrial zone that's just, like, a, like a hidden gem. It's super good. Yeah. I had something like that near, actually, the old workplace where the boss drove around, or all the office stuff, drove around on segways around the whole fucking place. Um, I went to, like, people didn't want to walk... It wasn't even that far. It was like literally 600 meters from the from where we worked. They didn't want to walk that far for lunch because they wouldn't have time. But since I biked, yeah, a wild amount of distance to get to work every day. And it's like you know I could just hop on the bike and I'm there in like 30 seconds. And the food was yeah, good. the food was good. Oh, nice. What kind of food was it? Uh, it was it was like a Italian restaurant sort of sort of deal. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, that, that kind of tracks. But you can get, like, a huge helping of pasta for, like, $6. It was incredible. Ooh. Yeah. I'm always down for nice, cheap pasta. Right in the middle of the railway You are being nice. <laughs> hey, look at that. See, That's I'm pretty standard looking. Well, well that's standard looking. <laughs> I should hope that the tracks don't actually look like that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a pretty gnarly switch if that's the case. You just have to jump from one to the other in this photo glitch here. <laughs> now they're... I'll trust that they're straight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be... I'm going to go with you on that one. Do, 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 do. Um, going for an hour and nine minutes. Do you want to explore another town? Or do you want to just uh, see what else is good in this little French uh, commune? I feel like... Hmm. If we we could maybe check out something nearby, I don't want to like shortchange another town by not giving it like a full, you know, good do. This does not. If there's another mini commune nearby, this this name does not sound French. No, that looks. Says here at. See, see, uh... looks much darker over there too. Wow. Yeah, you got a cloud going over at the time. The yeah, day. yeah. There we go. It's a great day over there. 
Another restaurant. Oh, a lot of restaurants in this place. Well, this general area. I know we, we, we've actually moved quite a lot, but... No, that's just cute. I like this. Yeah, yeah. Um, this little solarium going on there. <laughs> uh, solarium is, is an interesting word. Also, uh, encephalographic is a, is a word that yes. I... I just I don't understand why I like it so much. I just do. Ooh. Now this another school. That's a girls' school. École de Fille. Look at that. Liberty, Egality, and something else. Very cool. Ah, uh, we can we can get closer. Read signs. Yeah. Hotel de Ville. Seriously, it oh, is a, not a French-looking name. No, I'm gonna look that up for us. Because I'm curious myself now. He just sees by another commune for like a decade. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Doesn't have any information about its name for some reason. The, hmm. I will never. I mean, I'm indifferent to it about socks and sandals. A lot of people hate it. I yeah. think it's theoretically okay to prevent sunburn and still have appropriate ventilation. That's just my yeah. opinion. It's controversial, whatever I said it. No, you know what? I, I'm actually going to agree with you there. Um, <laughs> I have, I'll have. i go on the record and say I have no beef with sandals and socks either. Uh, in addition to your point about uh, sunburn, it also helps prevent blistering. Yeah, and, um, uh, I've still sunburned my feet that ventilation. socks. I would imagine so. It's kind of hard to, to avoid your feet, right? <laughs> Like, um, I was wearing flip-flops. Just, just see the two straps coming off and the rest of the just, like, no, bad. It's bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, and you could just wear socks and not have to worry about it. Tell me we can go inside the post office. We cannot. Come on. No. Boo. I wanted to see how their, like, municipal systems worked. They blurred out the names. Why? Why would they do that? They're just they're streets, what? or well, no destinations, I guess. What is the yeah. algorithm purpose of? Whoa, I like this. I mean, the <laughs> tile work is showing its age here. Um, oh boy! Or its quality. Yeah, it's been run over a couple times. Just ignore that end piece because that the rest of it looks fine. That that yeah. over here does not. <laughs> yeah, but that I like was, this. That little... was that was Gary's work. <laughs> I do like this little thing though. Yeah, I like it. I, it could use a little, a couple more of those planters, and it would be aces. All right, so the post office. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Well, first, this is some very important French discussions happening there. A short elderly man talking to a guy who looks like he's six foot five. <laughs> little do you know, the short elderly man's only four foot nine. I wonder what, what his deal is. Is he there for stamps or maybe he's got an important package to send? This would not be appropriate to any building code by today's no. standards. <laughs> but that's part of the charm. I love that. That's that's to just have a build oh, Whoa, that's great. With the... that it's got a little that's statue a little... tucked in the corner. Oh, that's nice. I like that. That is so freaking cool. What the hell? I can't say anything I can't actually say anything inherently bad about this building except maybe fix that soon, otherwise <laughs> problem yeah yeah you'd hope that your postmaster general would be on top of that what does it do with a like postmaster general is a, is that a military rank or, or not uh, i have no idea I, if i'm yeah. being honest i really only know of it from seinfeld but yeah exactly <laughs> it, 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 it seemed appropriate to try to bust out now but I, I must admit i have no true understanding of what a postmaster general is <laughs> Yeah, like what? They, what do they do? I don't know. Can I get down this? Oh, road? They generally manage the post. <laughs> I want to see if there's another statue in in, in the other corner because they didn't see any, any in the front, but there was one just in the road. No, it looks like there was just that single statue in the corner there, which is pretty cool. I would have figured there would be like a corresponding one on one of the other walls or something. Unless it's face, is, like, is it facing north? Is it facing some relevant? Perhaps. No, yeah. it's not. No, Unless there's something no. relevant in this direction, to the northwest. Hmm. 
That's a good, it's a good ponderance. It's a really weirdly shaped building, actually. It's got some weird, uh, like, angles to it. It's architecturally incorrect. Uh, <laughs> yes. See, this is why I have to get the draw over thing, because that is actually a good point. Yeah, like, what is, what is going on there? And then, looks like they've got, like, sort of a tiered roof thing going on on the right there. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that was, uh... Yeah, like, is that an add-on or what? With the tech, or with the tucked-in staircase. Unless these were intended to be oh, different geez. buildings and were just amalgamated. Oh, maybe, maybe. I could see that. Because it looks like different, uh, like, siding or overall finishing on the outside, right? Well, it could also just be the weathering. True. Again, like that church with the with the accessible entrance, which was pretty damn handy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Episode one callback. Oh. Hey. Oh, pools. We're in, pools. like, a... We're in a fancy area, eh? I guess so. L.A. de Seine. Well, let's see how fancy we're talking. <laughs> yeah. I noticed some of those pools are, like, weird and purpley, but others are nice and bright blue. I wonder, I wonder what the pH balances are there. Was this one of the pool houses? Like, that actually looks, that looks good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I, I could see summering there. And look, you got the storm drains in the middle of the road, not in the curbs. The road slopes inward. Huh. Yeah. It's a good move. It's a good move. Okay, I don't know. That okay, one good. There's reversed. more. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if that's tra a trick of the uh, the photo. Yeah. No. Is. No, it still looks... Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely um, a little bit of a bougier area in the, uh, the, yeah. in the countryside. Yeah. I would say. I mean, not not too much more, but a little bit. No, exactly. This is where the uh, the, the bougie people of this town live, if you will. <laughs> I haven't seen too many lampposts here. Oh, that's nice. I like yeah. the little stair deal going on there. I think that's newer for the area. Is I don't that like the front fence, door though. on the second floor, or their side door, their main entrance. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say yeah. yes. It looks like that's on the second floor, and you got like some sort of garage and maybe like secondary area downstairs. But is that a maybe it's the door for the garage or the prison? It's a prison cell. <laughs> <laughs> it should have a blur on it. Yeah, just in case. Can't have us breaking people out. <laughs> All right, how big is this town? I want to see. Oh, shoot. Oh, this is another commune. This is another amalgamation of towns. Yeah. And I think this is, oh, yeah. We got, okay. Mining area here. How close can we get to that? Ah. Uh, oh, God, the topograph. Okay, that makes way more sense. Pretty wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Holy... It's down there. No access to the public. <laughs> oh, don't mind if we just uh, roll right through. <laughs> oh, no, that's as far as we can go. Oh, damn. I was going to say Google on the other end there. Look at that. Immune it's, to such things. It's pretty big. Wow. It's big. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how long they've been going at that. I don't actually know how uh, how mining works in general. Like, when they're, when they're finished with it, they have to try and... Well, I, I mean, theoretically, the company should be... Fixing the land after and actually restoring it, ah, restoring, yeah, restoration. But um, <laughs> is that like after fifty years? Twenty? That's that's a good question. I would assume the scope of the project it's going to change everything. Yeah. Honestly, what the, the the entirety of what I know about mining is is from the game Minecraft, so <laughs> it's it's not super relevant to, to IRL situations. Have you ever? Did you ever get involved in uh, in Tekkit? Minecraft or no? Uh, not really. Like I played with it a couple of times, but I wasn't very. Uh... I like I like I like kind of the simplicity of sort of vanilla Minecraft. Yeah, although there are. I mean, I'll have to recommend a YouTube channel to you later. Okay. Okay. Um. 
they're doing a thing where they're doing a um, basically they have to get into space by building a rocket but they also have all kinds of other mods installed like the Stargate mod okay um, it, it's good stuff Whoa, well can I go back that uh, that interests me oh a little alleyway with a lot of dirty runoff. I like it. Just filth. Just, yeah, just uh, straight up filth. Well, the streets were once for sewage directly. Yeah, yeah. I, I was actually kind of wondering if that's what that might have been. <laughs> like wow. in its in its uh, original life. I'm glad we got out of that era. Th this is just yeah. a piece of... This is just a piece of... of uh, just a Sheet piece. metal, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know what that material is. It's plastic. Um, what was it? Plastic? I thought it was, yeah, okay. Jeez. Little improvised enclosed garage. Looks good. It's huge. I, I think it's kind of interesting that the facing is there. Like, as long as you've got a cover over the top, who really cares about this um, haphazardly cut? I don't really, yeah, I don't really know what this is doing. Yeah. What was the thought process? It Maybe, maybe it's a portfolio piece. He, he wanted people to be able to see his, uh, I, uh, I have a tool that I can cut sheets of plastic. Yes. I also, I'm capable of affixing them to other things. Oh, look, this one's uh, nice. nice. Yeah, nice. Wait, I also spotted, what the hell am I looking at? Is that a here? door knocker? Yeah. With it, a oh, middle knob, too. Cool. This is a bear? Something? Uh, Climbing? Kind of looks like a bear, yeah. I could, I, could, I, could, I could sign off on that. And a door nibble. Yeah. I, I don't know what that is, but all right. Or is, it, or is that just the doorknob in the middle of the door? Yeah, I think it's the doorknob in the middle of the door. Why? 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 That confuses me. Why? This is—it's a central line door, man. They're very—they're very common throughout the world. Is that like a mailbox? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's what the horse guy means, I think. Looking good, and the old milk delivery doors. Oh yeah. I lived in one apartment that actually had those. Oh yeah. Did it have any sort of cool modern use? Um, I know one guy who stored a block of gold in his. Oh, yeah. Because um, it was painted and sealed over from the outside, so you can use them in the inside as like a little safe space. Not that yeah, yeah. it would really do much, because if you had something too valuable in there, they could just probably break it from the other side and just take it without you even knowing it. <laughs> oh, what's that? Like a Dolls. Little... Dolls and... and... I, I don't know what this piece of machinery I'm looking at. What's the scale here? Is it further back? Yes, it is. Yeah. So it's not on the fence. It's I initially sort of, thought it was a bird feeder, but I don't... It now it looks a, almost like a weird barbecue. <laughs> if you heat it from the bottom, any anything could be a barbecue or a cooking element if it's made of metal. <laughs> exactly. Now, the dolls, though, I don't know what they're there for. Could you... Like, if you had just the hood of a car, could you heat up the bottom of it and just heat the metal surface up to actually cook object like food on it. You probably could. Oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Um, I, don't know what I bet you could. I bet you could straight up on like a hot enough day cook directly on it without having to apply um, heat from the underside, even. You know the old like cook an egg on the road deal. Yeah. I've never been in a situation in a car, anyways, hot enough to do that, or no. to even conceive of it. Actually, you know, I say that, but Poland, we mm -hmm. had no air conditioning. And oh, it was 35 shoot. degrees. On the, hi on the highway, it was a lot hotter. Ugh. Yeah, I, that, you might have been in the right circumstances there then. Probably, yeah, probably could have. At the same time, you're moving pretty fast to be cooking an egg, too. All right, so we've established this is some sort of quarry. Well, I don't know what the difference between a quarry and, like, open pit mine or whatever is, but this is a... France's mineral exports right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's it says observatory to the top uh, to the t to the right of that. Is that like an actual proper like observatory? I'm guessing weather. Oh, oh, oh yeah. no, astronomique apparently. But it's really small. I don't see where they'd have a any sort of like large telescope there or whatever. That's a tiny one. Yeah. Pff, come on, guys. Oh, wow. That's a stubby, uh -uh. jacked frickin' uh, communications tower. That is super short for a communications tower, yeah. 
I guess it's because it's on top of a hill already, so they don't really have to go much True. higher. True. True. He's quite loaded up, though. He's uh, ready to go there. All right. I don't know if... Uh, I'll get closer to that in a sec. First, look. Check out this very tiny... Oh, there it is. It's it's literally oh, yeah. just the size of... Uh, oh, wow. Well, you can't really get much of a view from the here with the bushes, but... No, no. It's pretty small. It's like a it's little like, bigger than the house beside it, yeah. It's like six guys tall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very official yeah. measurement there. Six six guys tall. I think the United States' is version of anything to avoid using the metric system. <laughs> the freaking size of a washing machine is like, oh, okay, thank you. That helps. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's about uh, point, uh, six football fields. The football fields no, one is a classic. Point six either. You can't acknowledge yeah. that avoiding the metric system without saying football fields because that is <laughs> such a common thing in, in like a lot of stuff I'd watch on the Discovery Channel produced in the United States. In, oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Any time in the O's, 2000s, whatever. Yeah. Football fields were a metric. There's no getting around it. Then it became aircraft carriers if you get, like, big enough. If, you, if like, it's, like, what, three <laughs> football fields to an aircraft carrier or some such thing? I don't know. Um, I don't actually know how big an aircraft carrier is. Just off the top of my head, I have to actually go back and look. Yeah. This is one, this is one hell of a concrete tower. Yeah. Yeah, that is a, that is a hefty... Hefty friend. One large lad. <laughs> there you go. We're at the edge of town now. Um, I think this way didn't... I don't know what that is. Cheval mm, Bougie. No. Recreation it's, it's center. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's horse, I think, right? Cheval? Well, Looks like horse, yeah. That's a small horse. <laughs> uh, yes, ponies? Yes. I don't Perhaps, really yes. I just know that ponies are smaller. I don't really know what other identify or identifying features d differentiate between a horse and a pony. I'd have to ask. Uh, I'd have to ask my husband about that. Aren't they? Aren't ponies just baby horses? I don't think so. No. Okay. Today I learned. I actually lived with a horse for a while too. It was weird. Also, a free are, horse. He's... Those are legs that could kill. Holy hell! Yeah, yeah, that guy's jacked. <laughs> That's definition. Um, yeah. Also, this is a very hilly area, which is probably why that communications tower is so short. Yeah, yeah, it's probably got all of its altitude off of the uh, the hills it's surrounded by. Is that cheating, or is that just thinking smart? Uh, I'd say it's thinking smart. Okay, good. We're we're in agreement. <laughs> I actually had the dilemma as to whether or not. Um, I took a photo of a group of dogs for somebody in the park. Just I right. offered whatever. Oh, uh, is it the the monolith one, right? Yeah. Uh, one yeah, okay. of the dogs was looking the other way in the photo. And I I took like six yeah. photos, but every single photo had a dog looking in a different direction. So I chose the best looking oh, yeah. photo, and I photoshopped one of the dog's heads from another photo to make that one look straight. They're okay. all looking at the camera. I'm like, is this cheating? No. <laughs> no, it's, it's it's composite photography, and NASA uses it all the time. Well, right here. There you go. <laughs> do, 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 do. I like it. I like that they still have a lot of trees. and Alter Root the Titans. <laughs> What a name for a highway. Okay. Let's see what makes this oh, so man. auto route the Titans. Well, it's a highway. With yeah. I guess three lanes in every direction is a lot over there. Yeah, yeah I guess eh. <laughs> oh yeah. Which is you oh, okay. Emergency phone. Which again, no, that's saying the speed limit's one sixty. Uh no, I think that's the, the highway code. Oh, like the marker? Yeah, that makes Actually, sense. No, 840 is the, high, is the marker. Yeah, 840 is the highway, yeah. So 160 might be the uh, kilometer marker. Yeah, yeah, that makes more sense. 160 oh. is way too fast as a, a random speed limit. Mm -hmm. 
This whole section is just completely covered by a cloud when they did this. <laughs> I feel bad for them. And so it like reflects poorly on, on the city or something. Alright, we got another service area. Oh yeah. Oh beside an airport. And they got a Starbucks. Airport. airport truck stop. Oh shoot. I this... wouldn't have expected an airport there. It's a Maybe. tiny one, but still. <laughs> With <laughs> this is a this is one hell of an of a interesting collective group here so you got a truck yeah. stop uh <laughs> with a starbucks and a restaurant and a cafe whatever you got an airport there yeah. and then on the other side you have a go-kart racing track oh yeah hold on i'm trying to get there it is car yeah. racing track in jesseron france yeah go kart racing oh no wait no these are rc cars this oh they're like rcs kind of racing that's track. even better oh that's that... cool that's freaking dope. What the hell? I want to go to an RC racing track. We have RC. Even better if they have like little cars you could rent too, right? I guess so. I mean, they have a building yeah. for this place, so it probably has to. Nice. There we go. Let's see photo. Very cool. Mini car. Yeah, okay. That's some good. Uh... It's good graphical work there, yeah. This looks yeah. a lot bigger when you look at it from maps. Yeah, yeah, when it was maps, I thought it was like a, a proper go-kart thing, like you said. Oh, there's <laughs> Just the a couple crew, of guys yeah. having a good time. <laughs> That's fucking dope. I love this. Yeah, yeah. For a while, before... So there was some issues with the water quality, but for a while... They used to do RC boat races in Humber Bay, at Humber Bay Park. Oh, cool. Which is why it's actually called Radio Control Pond. Oh, okay. I was wondering that. Yeah, that's where they, that's where they did boat races. Uh, almost every other week in the, in the summer, like all summer oh, for cool. several years. Oh, I just got like a barrage of messages. Holy hell. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty badass. I like that. Let's kind of imagine the Grand Prix of, uh, and say, Zuriat or whatever the place is called again. Can't remember now. That's kind of dope. Yeah, from here it looks a lot bigger. Like, the road is the same size as the mini track. But then again... Yeah, yeah, exactly. But then again, the cars you're... Well, yeah, the cars you're racing on are pretty small, I guess. So, they would be... Yeah. It'd be a bit as big as, I guess, half the size of this cursor, just facing the right way. There. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would assume that. Because you'd still want enough room for them to be able to, like, pass and stuff, right? 14 biz. Brazilian. <laughs> Where? Is this shed? Yeah. Like, the Brazilian restaurant beside the... Oh, you got... Okay, that's a plain statue. Spook the hell out of me for a sec. Yeah, yeah it tripped me off for a second. I was confused. <laughs> So you got a Brazilian like, restaurant it... somewhere in oh here. Oh my god, that really is a restaurant. Wow. Okay. I gotta get a little bit of a closer look, because from here it just looks like it's in here. Yeah. It can't just be in there. I don't think it's actually here. No. No, this seems a little confusing. Nice Brazilian restaurant at this guy's house. Or service building. I don't even know. It's probably, yeah. There oh, is that... that looks a little bit more... Restaurant Leronot. <laughs> oh, there's the control tower. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see how close we can get. Another beer. Why, also why sponsored this... by 1664. Yeah, why is this here? Why do they just have a <laughs> tiny sign leading into the airport <laughs> taxi area with a beer advertisement 12 feet in the air? Well, you know, like, helicopters and beer go hand in hand, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's a color. Yeah. That is a, that's a weird little guy. Good old flag. All right. Um, sneak a peek at the front of the airport. Or, well, oh, hold on. Yay, there we go. Oh, right, the statue. Nice. That front landing nice, is yeah. really far up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what aircraft is that? That's an that, that's an interesting one. I don't know what aircraft we're looking at here. 
Can I get closer? I don't know planes from what. But I do find them kind of exciting. Yo. Okay, yeah. All right. That's cool. It's time to put that other tab to use. Oh, yeah, the review from that guy who was pissed off about the restaurant, <laughs> about the truck stop place. $45 uh, for a chicken chicken breast? Uh, for two meals. All right, two meals. Justin Ron. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oops, okay. Shit, that's the whole township. Where's the airport? Uh, I hate that I have to have this open in two separate things. It's funny. I, I think that that's um, low enough that you probably have people trying to climb on that. It'd be funny to get some pictures of that at some point in time. Strange children hanging off of it. Here we go. Okay. All right. Uh, I am going to do a search for this. Oh, hold on. That's another plane. What else have we got here? Here's the big one in question. Hmm. I'm going to look up the airport super quick. Looks like a, like a, a two-seater maybe. You know, that's good. Good to bring your buddies with you when you go and when you go and pew pew. <laughs> Wikipedia. The Wikipedia for this town is very short. Yeah, yeah, there wasn't a whole lot in there, right? Eh? This is the whole thing. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I uh, I got to get some airplane people here who can identify this for me. Or for us, because yeah. I don't know what this is. It's cool, though. I like it. Point true north, please. Um, I, I'm gonna say, or I'm gonna save my uh, my other points of interest for another time, or for the next one. Yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I'll start off with with one of mine next time. Cool, cool. And then I got one in the bag for down the road. I'm excited for that one. Uh, do you want to call it, or do you want to pick one completely random map point worldwide? Uh, let's do a, a random map point worldwide for a couple minutes to close it out. Yeah, I think that's... that's. I like I like the random ending quick look around. We'll give that a zippy name eventually. People are like, oh yeah, the random ending quick look around. Somewhere with English signage. Yeah. Oh, that is very random. Okay. <laughs> Um, United States. Oh, it's okay, one of the states okay. that's shaped like a square. And oh, it's boy. very hilly. It's a photo oh, no. by Rod Kennedy. Yo, rocks. Okay. Oh, this rocks. It still thinks... It, why is the hyperlink still the... Okay. Yeah, that was throwing me off earlier when we were we were looking up the uh, the French names of places because I kept coming back to that. And I was like, no, that's where the chicken is. That's not where we are. Right, we are on a cliffside. Somewhere in the United States, <laughs> in one of the states <laughs> shaped like a square, in in a desert area ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caves. yeah. Ooh. that's. Cool. I'd say we're close to a mountainous region, maybe. I, I, I figure, maybe. Yeah, yeah, or in one potentially. Oh, getting the kind of vibe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just, just kind of looks like it, you know. Let's zoom out and see where we are. Where did we land? Sinks oh, Canyon. Okay. More, more info. Wyoming, okay. Wyoming? I would not have guessed Wyoming. There's a few photos here. Uh, Let's see what uh, what the, the parking lot looks like. Why did I press that one? Well, it'll give us a wider, <laughs> it'll give us a wider view. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they got what I figure is like a little information center with, me, with like a museum, maybe. They got different yeah. types of rocks. Ooh. It is a photosphere, so I can't get any closer. Thanks, Darius. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Wyoming's wildlife. Okay. Oh, this looks nice. This is good. Yeah, this would be a good day trip. You know. 
Oh, okay. Do, 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 trees. A mountain covered with slope. Uh, God, this is a lot. You know, I'll just screenshot yeah. it and read it later. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, is there a TLDR at the bottom there? Um, no. No, but the word Popo Agi River. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. Top photographer. So who we got here? This person's wearing shorts. It's a hot area, no doubt. Yeah. We're looking at a hat. It's the camera. We don't know. Shorts, yeah. Not Dar- Did you say Darius? Darius. Darius Nabors. Okay. Not enough info from the shadow. Unlike that other time where I, I found a, a photosphere. This guy was taking it from right above his head. All I could tell was that... <laughs> well, oh, hold on. Here we go. We've got some other people. Oh, more friends. Hello, hello. Well, her arm's cut off in the photo crop here. But, oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> just transversing into another dimension. That's the cool <laughs> thing about it. And also, the, this truck is just sinking. Just boom, yeah. pivoting inward. What is this shirt? The uh, that's, shirt. that's a shirt. The ruffled yeah. shirt on the bottom of the tights is an interesting combo, not going to lie. Yeah. And sure. then the, the random running shoes for the hike, not really, you know, any sort of specific hiking equipment. <laughs> I don't think I could pull off this look, but it's I'm not going to diss it just because. No. Like a pink ruffled no, shirt, like black I... tights, and a visor. It's like, I mean, you do you, that's good. <laughs> like it's a look right like it's not necessarily my look but it, it's it's definitely constructed <laughs> considered what do you think they're pointing at mm, uh... follow the angle yeah is there something in here at the time of this photosphere yeah, I was gonna say maybe there's a an animal in there or something nah, I don't think so no nah. It's possible she's just pointing downward at the end of her hand towards this plaque, but that would be... That would look so weird. Yeah. It is possible, but I, I don't know if it's probable. We'll never know. We'll never know what uh, Pink Ruffles shirt was, was pointing at that one day. Oh, there's a whole, the whole river that comes into here. That's pretty good. Oh, is that the Popo yeah. River or whatever? Uh, cool. I don't know if that's that's this one. But yeah, it goes, deer, into, yeah. Oh, goes into the caverns. Oh, 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 oh my. That's cool. I, I wish that, that fence actually looked like that too. <laughs> so Darius gave us a cup. Mm, pardon me. Yep. Hiccups. Uh, Darius gave us a couple of viewpoints here. The end of a bridge. Yeah. Pathway. Um, that's just a blur to me. So that's nothing that yeah. I can read. Yeah. Oh, I'm not good at climbing. I'm not going to climb. No. Nor am I. I love I'm, a, I'm a stand on the ground kind of guy. You got sand on one side. You got trees on the other. That is so... Uh, I like this. This uh, yeah. part of difference in, in surface here. Yeah. Yeah. Over like a very short period. period Over a very short area of space. It's, it's quite varied, actually. It's like the road is just right down the middle between the two. Yeah. I wonder if the one side, like if the right side's been cleared or something. Doesn't really look like it though. Did he also do this one? This is the one that we started on. Uh, no, this is Rod yeah. Kennedy giving yeah, us yeah. this uh, up close view of the cavern. Okay. Well, thank you, Rod. And let's see what Google saw that day. Uh, yeah. Do, 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 do. What in the world? What are they doing to their roads here? <laughs> I'm very curious about them myself. That's like, what? What are they? I, I don't know. Well, you big with his pickup truck, yeah. Yeah, nothing. Two of them. Yeah. So when you're in the Matrix, you see deja vu. Um, oh, yeah, no, that is the name of that river. Sinks of Popogi. Visitor oh. center. Okay. And that's that's here. All right. I liked it. Good job, Sinks Canyon. Way to way to Canyon. Gotta get. I'm gonna leave a pin. Can I just like leave it here so I can zoom out considerably? I want to see where we are relative to the state. What the hell is this? 
<laughs> nice. That is madness. Those are some sharp, like these, this is just triangular. Normally you do it in like yeah. smooth sweeping curves. This is just pointy. <laughs> Can I get in there? No, I cannot. No. That is wild. You missed four. Who designed this road? What is this? It's it, it honestly looked like someone was just playing. <laughs> this is the only curve here, just whoom, and here. And the rest is just... Well, whoom. and then look at that really steep, like, or like a, what, not a hairpin, but it's a really sharp turn at the, the bottom there. Oh, there's a few of them. So this is the U.S. Forestry Service making these roads. Oh. Uh, I guess. Hmm. But I wonder why they make them that way, then. Red Maybe it was just a simplicity thing. <laughs> Okay, I guess I, I just gotta stop by this mountain peak quick. Oh, there's no photos, Wait, but that is. Oh, boo. It's a hell of a. Okay, and no one's gone up to Red Butt, I guess. Not, not anyone who's left photos. That's disappointing. I wanted to see it. Or are we relative to anything? Yeah, we are out there. Okay, okay. Yeah, that was fun. That was good. Yeah, that was cool. Let's just leave it at the country of interest right here to finish it off, because that's where we spent most of our day today. Oh, this is almost two hours. <laughs> Luck, I'm not editing this one because I don't really think there's not anything. I don't have to chop anything out. No, there was no unfortunate crash or anything. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pain in the ass that first time. Um, but yeah, it's time to close it off. I think it's... All right, we started at 7 today instead of 8, so I'm, I keep thinking it's like almost 10 o'clock. It's not. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. To anyone who's who's chilling... Uh, I'm Matt Delombax, finishing or finishing up, signing off. See you all later. And uh, we'll see you in two weeks, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right, stream over. Hey.